How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So glad each and every one of you can make it. It's getting dark early now and that's what this video is about. How's it going everybody? Again, welcome back to the channel. So glad each and every one of you can make it. Yes, it's starting to get darker earlier. It's getting colder, which means there's no, not going to be time for painting and stuff outside or anything like that. Because when I get home, it'll already be dark because we're on our long hour weeks anyway. So with that being stated, I've been teasing about doing this. I've been talking about doing it. So let's finally get ready to do it and see if you guys will be interested. So let me get you turned around and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I have all these. All these are Camaros. I have all those, which are different kinds. Cars, trucks, you name it. Cool combis. And I have all those over there on the wall also. Now, what I am talking about doing is racing. On green, I'm going for it. Yes, racing. I'm not asking you to send in anything or anything along that line. This is just to have a little bit of fun. You guys to watch a little something different and, you know, maybe uh, get something out of it. And we'll talk about that here in a minute. I've been talking about it for a while. In fact, I had Rodney 3D print me one of these. I found this on Thingiverse and he, he said, yeah, I'll print it for you. He printed two of them. And I was planning on using that. I put a teaser video when I first got that with two of the um, coop clips. I pushed down on it and they actually went. I'm like, hmm, okay. <laughs> but without being stated, the goal, I hope, is to get one of the electronic kind. You know, where you has the Christmas tree on it, has the digital readout on the finish line and all that stuff. But that's, you know, that's crazy thinking, but who knows, maybe. But my wife, as you know, found the Ultimate Garage at the Goodwill, so I have that. And it has the starting gate and everything on it, so I'll use that to start with. And I may go back with that one over there later on, because originally I was just going to get a board, paint it the Hot Wheels blue, attach the track to it, you know, 10 foot long or so, and, and run it that way. But since I have the Ultima Garage, I can display the cars, run it, and a few other odd things. But let's talk about well, all this. Now this is just what I'm saying. I've got all these cases. Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Woo! 24 cases up there. That's a, that's a pretty good little bit. Uh, and here's the plan. Okay. Do one case at a time to start with, depending on how fast each race goes and everything, may do more cases. But that being stated, I plan on doing one a week. Top two cars, best out of three. Second row cars, best out of three. Third row, best out of three. So then you'll have a winner from that, a winner from that, and a winner from that. So one of those cars will have a buy run. Let's just say that's the bottom one. So then the top two cars will, top two winners will go against each other and then the winner of that will take on the buy run to give you an ultimate winner on that particular case. So that's what, uh, 10 runs per video. So that's, you know, that's a pretty good bit <laughs> to try to do and edit and all that stuff. But anyhow, the goal is do all these, have one car as the ultimate winner, right? Do these, have one car as the ultimate winner. Do all those over there, have one car as the ultimate winner. Take that car, that car, and that car, and run them against each other and see which is the fastest free loose car that I have. 
Now, with that being stated, there's a couple of things that's going to play into this because some of these are M2s, some of these are green lights, some of these are Johnny Lightnings. I'm only going to run Hot Wheels. The reason for that, the Johnny Lightnings, the M2s, and so on and so forth are not going to roll as good as the Hot Wheels, so there's no need in putting that extra time and effort into doing it because they're just not going to roll that good, which means, you know, it's just wasting time doing it. I'll have them on the display, but I won't be running them. And here's where the fun factor for you comes in. Now, like I said, this is just in the planning stage. There's nothing definite yet, but I'm definitely planning on doing the racing. First race, right? This case up here. I'm going to post pictures. This car versus this car, this car versus this car, this car versus that car. I'm going to give you guys a chance, an opportunity, if you would like, to pick race one, race two, race three, which one's fastest. Now, you won't know who wins each individual race by the time of the video, so there's no way you'll know, well, the Summit car won, and it's going up against the AutoZone car. You won't know that. All you'll know is that car, the Exclusive versus the Summit, the AutoZone versus the 50th Anniversary, so on and so forth. So, there's three chances for you to pick a winner. But also, you could pick an overall winner. Each one of those races you get right will be one point. So if you picked all three winners correctly, there's three points. The overall winner that you're guessing on is two points. So theoretically, you could walk away with five points. Correct? So at the end of all these, I'm planning on doing something. I said planning. I'm not swearing to it. I'm planning. Come over here and do the same thing here. Okay? I'll pick out however many. Do the same thing. Same point spread all the way down. Come over here and do this all the way down. So there'll be something cool, I think, for that. If you get it, the, the person that picks the most wins. That for the person that picks the most wins. And that for the person that picks the most wins. So, like I said, that's just what I'm, just something I'm planning on doing, something to have fun with during the winter months. Now, I've got a lot of cars, a lot of races, so you can guess this is going to take a while to get all this done. I'm not going to be able to get it all done in one winter. Because that's 24, if I do one a week, that's 24 weeks. That's over half a year. That's not going to happen. <laughs> I'm going to have to do it faster than that. I've had to do two races a week. So, with that being stated, let me know if you'd like to participate or if you'd just like to, to watch and have fun and just randomly pick one or two here or there as I do it. With that being stated, get out and hunt. If you don't hunt, you can't find them. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.